Hey everybody, welcome to another pop preview. I'm Alex. I'm Sean. Today we're watching the official Frozen 2 trailer. Yes, so previously we got a teaser, which did yes. just that, teased us. Um, sure did. Didn't really get much out of that, outside of the fact that it looks like there's another character, this young girl, um, that may or may not have some kind of like wind, wind power, power. Yeah. is sort of what we got from that. So obviously this universe that they're building is maybe a little bigger than we, we think it is. And Elsa's on, looks like some kind of island maybe that she's trapped there and she yes. can't get off. But it didn't give us much, so no. um, I guess hopefully with this maybe we'll get a little bit more of a sense of the plot, which would be good. Um, yeah, so Sean still hasn't seen the first Frozen. No, but I will rec that will be rectified by the time um, yes. the Frozen 2 comes out. And we'll also, I will get another trailer, at least another, probably two more, maybe. Even. Well, I, I'm, I'm pretty sure we'll definitely get one more. Because this is November, so this yeah. comes out, so. so. Alright, let's watch it. Enchanted lands and into the unknown. But be careful. We have always feared Elsa's powers were too much for this world. Now we must hope. I won't let anything happen to her. Okay. So, a lot of the same. Oh yeah, I first thing was like, are we, watching, are we watching the same Yeah, scene obviously the that, that scene was the same. I mean, the music is like, this is not a kid's movie. You know, like very just cinema, cinematic. Epic. Yeah, I was music. like, um, a to little girl's gonna be like, yeah. and, and the, a little scared watching this. The editing style too is it's you know they cut to black and then come back and then yeah. cut to black. It's just it's very unusual for I feel like a movie like this. But yeah, I, I guess like a lot of the original fans have grown up now and maybe it's suppose, more appropriate. I suppose, but so, but still, I mean, it's it's marketing to little girls still. A little girls can take it. I, well, I, I guess so. I mean, Jurassic but... Park was my favorite movie when I was five. So, <laughs> like, yeah, but you're, you're, you know, uh, I'm no, I'm not every girl. That's yeah, true. yeah, but so there's a lot of people like me out there. <laughs> that's fine, but so we didn't get that much more than we got from the teaser. Not that much more. Well, what we do more. know, what we do know, is there's something about Elsa's past, about her powers, about how that was handled, some yeah. of the origin maybe of her powers that we're going to find out in this film. So there is some mystery surrounding her. Um, and I think, I think, I, I, I might have like been tripping, but there's a shot, <laughs> it's a great still, um, but there's a shot of a woman who I think is her mother looking out the window at the Northern Lights. Like, cause it didn't look like Anna. So I'll have to find the still, maybe I'm just tripping, but. Maybe you are, maybe you are. Um, but it seems like it definitely is possible that we will get some more information about what exactly happened with her. So that's exciting. I mean, but it's funny, like, considering what you told me about the first one, how they've kind of, like, suppressed her powers. Now in this one, it's like, oh, I hope her powers are enough. Yeah. It's like, oh, uh, Yeah. Irony. I mean, you know, she's out now. Yeah. So she doesn't have to 
she doesn't have to hide. She can let it go. So yeah, it's like you know what? Why don't we just like Pun intended use... by saying let me, let it go there. Obviously. <laughs> um, so so yeah, the that's that's a, an exciting aspect. And then obviously we keep seeing these like um, symbol like diamond things with little symbols inside. Um, yeah. And it seems like hers definitely represents like ice. And then I think I noticed like one I. I I noticed like one of them, I think this is from the last trailer though where I paused it, but they're they're in that like big um in this trailer they have like the big rock, like the monolith thing yeah. that is imprinted with it, and one of them looked like it almost had like a little plant on it. So that may further our fan theory that there are other elemental um powers um well, I mean, play here. It looks like when they're in the forest, I mean it looks like someone's controlling that what looks like to be fire. So maybe there's there's someone who has wind powers, maybe there's someone who has fire oh, powers. Yeah. It was maybe. like a purple fire. It looked more like a magic than it did fire. Well, I mean, it, so, it could... it could. I mean, but, but it looks like pink fire? Kind of? Maybe? Sort of? I have no idea. Well, we know magic I exists, know. obviously, but we'll see, uh, obviously. Um, let's talk about... Um, the opening, let's talk about this weird horse thing that was under the water. Yes. Um, I know that there is... There's, it's like a mythological creature. I can't remember what it's called right now, but it, from North mythology, it's like a horse, a water spirit. That um, I'm not sure. So I wonder if this is going to be some kind of like spirit guide or something for her, um, or if it's mad at her for messing with the powers of nature, or like what exactly. But it seemed like it was more curious to see her than like angry, because obviously just kind of like was like, hey, well, who are you? Okay, I gotta go. Bye. <laughs> um, and then in her little, um, she does a little like dance thing. Yeah. Um, we see the horse and she doesn't look too upset about it anymore. So, you know, maybe I, he's a friend. I'm, I'm wondering, like, is this maybe, I wonder if it could, could be like a dream sequence or something too. I mean, because. That's not impossible. I mean, I'm wondering what, why, I mean, where is she then? Yeah. In, well, that's not impossible. That actually seems like a very, like something I would dream about. Like, oh my God, I'm trying to freeze this giant wave and I just can't. I just keep falling in. <laughs> like, that's a total dream. Well, maybe she's like not. Ancient anxiety dream for again, sure. Again, I haven't seen the first one, so I'm just pulling that straws here. But maybe it's because she's like trying to still find herself and that's be more comfortable with her powers. So this, if it's a dream, which who knows it might be or may not be. Could be just a premonition like, as well. Yeah, if yeah. it is a dream, it could have, you know, yeah. more to do with. Uh, clues mm -hmm. as to where to go and what to do. If I'm right, I'd be like, oh my god, I got that right. Yeah. I'd be like, super happy. But, you know, I mean, the, the, I'm not the biggest fan of Frozen, of the first one, but what I do like is that it seems like this is going to be a... a they're expanding the world. You know what seems I mean? Seems that way. Because yeah. sometimes with sequels, you get just the same thing again, mm -hmm. and maybe we will get that, but at least it seems like they're really grabbing for other stuff. <laughs> I mean, I'm sure, because I'm sure Disney wants to do at least one more after this. Mm -hmm. So yeah. it wouldn't surprise me if we got, and it's alluding to newer characters. Right. Um, that like maybe, like maybe are their villains, maybe they're, they're anti-heroes and they have to team up with the two sisters. Right. So that, like something like that wouldn't surprise me so that you get a, now yeah. it's like if you have three girls, you get, not each of them would have a dress. Yeah. A different one or something like that. So. Yeah. Um, I can easily see something like that happening. Yes. Um, but, um, I, I have to admit it doesn't look as. Cheesy is not Saccharin. the right word. It, it doesn't look as like, it looks a little bit darker, mm -hmm. which is, is is making me want to see this more yeah. than the first one, but I know I have to watch the first one so not I can ne fully Not understand. necessarily. No, <laughs> I, I, mean, pref I would, not, I would prefer to, <laughs> yeah. only because then I, I have a full full grasp of what's going on, because if I don't, there's going to be something that happens in the second one that like mm. will go right over my head. That if you're watching, you've seen the first one, you're like, oh, I, I can I, fill you in. I know, know what they're talking about. <laughs> yes, you can, but I think um, to do the movie justice, fully justice, the second one, yeah. which again, basing looking at these trailers and looking at the first set of trailers from the first movie, it's like, are these the same franchise? I know. Cause yeah. Maybe it's like what you're saying is like they're they're assuming that because that came out a while ago. Two thousand and thirteen. So that you figure like girls that were watching it then. Or like a good almost five six years older. Yeah. So, you know, you know. So, yeah. 
So maybe it's maybe yeah, maybe it's good for them that yeah. they're doing it this way. But um, I'm, I'm I can't I can't yeah. believe it. I'm looking looking forward to watching it now. Yeah. Well, you know, you want to be in on all the hype. You know, it's kind of like how I was with all the Marvel stuff. I'm like, you know, maybe I uh, maybe I do kind of want to see one of these. See what uh, everyone's talking about here. <laughs> well, I, it didn't get me the first time because I was like, ooh, like Frozen. I was like, no, right. Well, if pass. you don't know anything, well, yeah. Yeah, I was like, um, but yeah, I think I also think it's fun and like this is something that they're playing with a lot nowadays because like franchise is the name of the game. Right? Yeah, of course. So um, I see a lot of franchises playing with this whole idea, and obviously the internet is a huge contributor to this. Um, fan theories about who really is so and so, or who's your real parents, or where'd she get her powers from, or like everyone's just kind of trying to figure out like all these little Easter eggs and the how everything ties thing. together. And so, you know, to say like, oh, there's secrets in your past, like, you know, that's, that's intriguing. <laughs> Ooh, it Tarzan? I mean, I don't, yeah. think, I don't even... I mean, that would be, if that's the secret, that would I, be incredible. I don't even think, you know what, but I don't even think Disney, like, cares about that kind of stuff. But, no, I, I, no. but I think they, what they do is they're, they're very clever about it. They'll I, give you just enough just information enough, just enough. to keep that fan theory out there. But so you know not like, I mean? we're gonna... Sh- shun it completely, but we'll just <laughs> sprinkle enough of that fairy dust on it so that it stays alive. Yeah. And you can be like, well, can I fly? Can I fly? Will it fly? Yeah. No, not really, but there's just enough out there to keep it alive. No, I, totally. And also, but I mean, you know, if they did want to just completely go all in, I, people would love that if they just started tying all of their movies together. Um, because people have been talking about that for years in terms of like yeah. fan theories, like oh, Beauty and the Beast takes place while you know this is taking place, and et cetera, et cetera, and you know they fans find ways to tie yeah. things together, and I think um, maybe they'll go that way at one point where they really explain how everything's kind of connected, sort of, um, because they, you know, I think they're just gonna leave it out there like that because it's just something for fans to do because once you once you admit to it, then you have to then you have to commit to it. And then you have to then say, like, all right, well, how does it all connect? Whether Now, if you just leave it out there, then the fans can literally do whatever they want. Yeah. And then you go, like, hmm, maybe we could, we should play with that idea maybe a little bit. But we don't have to... If you don't commit to it, then you don't have to. Yeah. Right? But if they, if but, they yeah, announce, I mean, like, oh, these are connected together, then you have to find ways and maybe well, they all don't saying, connect. Yeah, I'm not saying, like, want. announce it. But, like, for example, like, in the... Wreck It Ralph sequel, like the scene with the princesses, yeah. which are obviously just part of the internet, like internet fandom, meme dumb, etc. Yeah. But like to see them all interact that way um, was interesting. And I, I do know that the, um, I think it was the director maybe, or someone in Disney said that it was worth exploring an idea of a spinoff with just Disney princesses. Yes, that would be um, hilarious. So I guess that's kind of where I'm coming from with this. Like, maybe not so like heavy handed, but like if they did find ways to like... Yeah, well, well, I mean, you can really just be in the internet and then just all there and have an adventure to do, and then that'd be fine by me. But, um, but I, I, I re- like I said, watching this, um, I'll watch the first Frozen and I'll watch this. So, um, I mean, that's our thoughts. What do you guys think? Uh, did you enjoy this one? This trail's a little dark. Are you guys okay with that? Or is that a road that you want Frozen to go down, or you want to kind of say a little bit more light handed? Um, what are your thoughts? Let's start the conversation below. Also, like, subscribe, share, do all those great things. Make sure to hit that notification bell so when the next trailer does come out, I probably would have seen Frozen by then. Um, I can give my thoughts on that as well as the next trailer that does come out. And we will also do a review on the movie when it does come out in November. Ah, yes. That'll be upon us in no time. Yes, and then there'll be all little girls running around with uh, even uh, probably more Frozen dresses. All and the singing, costumes. Singing another catchy or non-catchy song. From this movie. Yep. Anyways, but until then, I'm Sean. I'm Alex. Bye, guys.